Thank you in your precious son, Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Tonight, you know, my thought fell on the visions before goals. And the, the base is going to be Acts 2.17. And I'm going to read you as such. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters will prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Once again, good evening, everyone, and I pray that this evening finds everyone doing well. And tonight, I just want to share with you this quick thought. Wow. Just think about it, everyone. This is Thanksgiving week. A whole year has flown by. Soon after will come Christmas. And in 39 more days, we'll be into a new year, 2022. I bring this to your attention because with the new year, it seems that everyone will be focused on what is deemed as their new year's resolution or new year's goals. But instead of focusing on a new, a new resolution, that most will probably not keep, I suggest discovering your vision. Vision, according to the Bible, is the gift given by God to his children. Vision is the explanation, is, is the explanation or image of things going to take place before actually it is going to happen. Vision can be of two types. First, we pray and our prayers are answered instantly. Or secondly, when we sleep, it comes in, a vision comes in a manner of dreams. So I'm going to reference to two scriptures. The first one comes from Joel 2, 28. And it reads as, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. That's from the Old Testament. And once again, from the New Testament, I'm gonna pull Acts 2.17 and I'll read it to you once again. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. You see, the Bible says in Joel 2.28 and Acts 2.17, after this, I will pour out my Holy Spirit on all kinds of people. Your sons and your daughters shall do prophecy. Your old men shall have dreams and your young men shall see visions. Do you see how visions keep coming into play? First, only prophets in the Old Testament or only a few people could see visions who were very spiritual. And only Israelites had the gift that no other could have. But afterward, our God came, gave us this promise that he will pour out his spirit to all kinds of people. And guess what? Today, the Gentiles also have gifts of God. And today, everyone is seeing vision and dreams, which help them to do God's work. Why is having a vision so important? Even more important than having a goal. Proverbs 29 says, where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, he is happy. I came across some information that was written by a gentleman named Jay Craig, and he wrote this response to the question of why is a vision more important than having a goal? And his response was as follows. Have you ever created a list of specific goals and felt exhausted and defeated once you have completed that list? It's as if the actual process of goal setting drains us more than simply setting and starting to work towards our desire end result. 
So he proposed a simpler, more straightforward approach. You see, instead of focusing on specific goals, ask yourself to do this. Take 10 to 15 minutes out of each day, just a small amount of time. Take 10 to 15 minutes out of each day to envision exactly how you want your life to be in five years. Be specific, very specific. Imagine what your morning routine would be like. But let me go back to being specific. Let's take, don't just ask for, I need a place to live. God, I want to be blessed with a home, with a house, even more specific, a three bedroom house with two baths. Nothing is too big for God. Now let's get back to it. Imagine what your morning routine would be like. Picture what you will be doing for re recreation. Picture the adventures that you would like to have. Do this in and day out until it is so clear. It feels as if you have it already. Now here is how creating a clear vision for your life triumphs goal setting in terms of consistent productivity. Ah, that word consistency. Remember, our pastor brings that word up a lot. Being consistent. Every time you have a decision to make in regard to make in regards to being productive or not, just simply ask yourself, which decision aligns with my vision? Which choice will help me to move toward my desire life in five years? Remember, you're keeping the end result in mind. Know this, when you get into the habit of doing this, it becomes very easy to be productive. This is a huge reason why having a vision is more important than having a goal. Each time you operate under the simple process, you gain moment, your vision become clearer, and best of all, the work becomes enjoyable. I pray that you find this thoughtful information interesting and helpful. And what I want to do is I want to leave you with this thought. Be blessed. Don't stress. Pray yourself out of a mess. Then become impressed with your walk with God as you, as you let him lead you first. I thank you all for taking the time to come to this Manifest Monday. I pray that these words resonate with you, these scriptures resonate with you. I pray that you guys discover your vision. Thank you very much. And before we leave, I just wanna invite you to follow Hope and Zion International Ministries. Follow or subscribe to us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Once again, I bid you all a good night and be blessed. Amen.